My name is Anthony Allen, welcome here to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the Audio Visualizer Volume 2 available at Pixel Film Studios. This is a plugin available for Final Cut Pro users. So without further ado, I'm going to share my screen with you and show you how to use the Audio Visualizer 2 from Pixel Film Studios. Once you have downloaded and installed the Pixel Film Studios plugin, you need to open Final Cut Pro. Once Final Cut Pro is open, I want you to start a new project. I'm going to select new project in the timeline. And here, instead of using the automatic settings, as we will be using some images that vary in size when we're creating this audio visualizer, instead, I'm going to select the size and parameters of our media. So in order to do this, we're going to use custom settings here. And then we're going to select, we're already in the right place, 1080p HD 1920 by 1080 and of course select a frame rate. Now the frame rate is entirely your choice. You can select the frame rate that is suitable to your project and what you would like to achieve. If you select 60 frames per second, do keep in mind that this will make your render time slightly little bit longer and of course exporting your project will be longer. So for demonstration purposes, I'm actually going to select 30 frames per second. Now, I'm going to show you where to locate your brand new audio visualizer. Now, this is a title plugin, so it will be in the titles. We have the drop down of the generators open, that's why you can't see it. You want to select the titles, then open that drop down. And of course, you can make this window slightly larger so you can see what everything says. You want to select the Pixel Film Studios FCPX Audio Visualizer 2. Select this. Now you can see the templates for the audio visualizer. Now it's valid to mention that you cannot really preview these using the preview window. This is because the effect needs to have the sound or song or audio file applied to it in order to showcase the effect. So if you try to use a preview window here, you will get this image first, which is this template. But of course, you won't see this moving. Now, I'm going to choose one of the most common audio visualizers that is used by top audio channels on YouTube. Those YouTube channels that focus on uploading videos about music. Now, I'm going to insert bars and circles. I want to drag this into the timeline now. Now you can see in my preview window that I actually have a bitmap showing. So you can see that there is nothing being displayed where you can see the bitmap. The reason why I do this is because occasionally I like to work with blacks. So if the background of the player is black, you won't know that there's nothing there in the shot. So I like to use the bitmap so I know there's nothing there and it's an alpha channel. An alpha channel is that see-through channel that you have in video or pieces of media that you create with an invisible background. So of course, if you're making a logo in Final Cut Pro, a bitmap will show you what is an alpha channel. It's basically what is invisible and will not show up and can be layered up. A lot like an overlay image. Again, this will make a lot more sense in a moment because we're going to insert an image underneath our audio visualizer. So once you've imported an image, you want to drag this into the timeline. So I'm going to select this peer image here, completely copyright free, and I'm going to drag this into the timeline underneath our audio visualizer effect. You can see that the image is not the same resolution as our canvas, and you can see the edges of the player here and this is where nothing is showing, which is why I like to work with the bitmap when working in Final Cut Pro 10. To give you more of an idea of what I'm talking about here, here is the entire canvas and the image showing the alpha channel just here. Now we're going to go into the inspector and make sure that this is the correct size. Now at this point, I'm going to sample the audio that we are going to be using with the audio visualizer. You can see that I've already imported this to the project and by selecting it within the browser and pressing spacebar with the mouse and player in the right position, I'm just going to press spacebar to sample this audio now, which is completely copyright free. So with the whole audio selected from start to finish, I'm just going to drag this into the timeline underneath what we have so far. 
making sure that it's at the start of the project you can also zoom in to make sure that you haven't missed anything at all there is a slight little bit of delay before the audio starts but that is purposely done for the song now at this point we want to make sure that the audio visualizer and the background image is as long as our audio and lasts as long as our audio so we don't miss anything in order to do this you want to zoom out of your timeline and literally give things a drag and then we'll make sure that it reaches the last and final frame and I'll show you how to make sure how this is done. So we're gonna drag and keep dragging until we reach roughly near the end because I like to really zoom in to make sure that the last frame is complete and we don't miss anything. And this is where it gets to that point now. So I'm just gonna drag that slightly over to show you what I mean to make sure that everything is precise because the audio visualizer needs to match the audio. Now at this point with the mouse and playhead in the right position, roughly towards the end, we want to zoom in. You can see already that the background image does not last as long as the audio and the audio visualizer itself is longer than the audio. So you wanna make sure that this reaches the end. And of course you can zoom in even more when you're ready. Do not cut the audio visualizer. I do tend to trim as this makes sure that there are no interruptions to the effect when it's taking place. Making sure that you're at the last frame, what you want to do is with the viewer in the right place, the preview window in the right place, and at the right size, press spacebar, and you should see this film strip at the end on the right hand side of your preview. That means that you are at the end and last frame of the project. I'm just gonna press done, in order to confirm the transformation that we made earlier. At this point, we don't really need the browser just yet. So we're gonna close the browser and we're gonna open the inspector because I like to have two windows open as opposed to three because I can see more. By selecting the audio visualizer, you will bring up everything about the audio visualizer title inspector in the inspector. Here you can see that you can choose a song. This is what we're going to do now and it's the song path that we're going to fill when we select the correct file. You want to select the same file that you have inserted underneath the audio visualizer effect that we've created so far. So with the choose song selection, choose a song and make sure you find the correct file in order to start the effect. Once you've found the file, you want to select it and press open. Once the audio has been found, the path will be filled. Now you can skim and scrub through the image to see what you have so far. Of course, this will not be the top quality in which the end product will be once you finish the effect. But just to give you an idea of what this will look like, you can see that there are two versions of the audio visualizer with a left and a right channel. You can actually select to use just one of the channels as opposed to two. This will be the full audio on one side that you can move and place in the position on screen where you would like it. And all this can be done within the inspector window. I'm going to scroll down, which I already have, to the left channel and change its color to red. Now it seemingly disappeared. It, it hasn't actually gone anywhere. It's just literally just repositioned somewhere in the timeline. So we're going to scrub and you can see that audio visualizer now populating on screen along with the right channel. So now you can see that there is a left and a right channel with the left being red and the right being white. Of course, I said that you can actually reposition this audio visualizer and of course you can change to just one audio visualizer if you have selected this template. Now, we can make the left channel completely invisible by changing the opacity. Now you will not see the left channel or the left audio visualizer when you're completing this effect. And if I was to transform or change the position of the right audio visualizer, that will be the only one that is showing on screen. So now that we have got rid of the left channel, we're going to scroll down to the right channel controls. Here you can see a few different controls, for example, scale, rotation, radius, and spread. Now when repositioning this audio visualizer, one thing I like to do is to use these buttons here that you can see in the preview window. With the audio visualizer selected, 
I want you to click on the arrows here. Click and hold in order to move your audio visualizer on screen. Now you can move the audio visualizer on screen into a position that you like by clicking, holding and scrolling around on screen. We can change the colors, add a glow and more. There's also a lot more that you can do with your audio visualizer too. For example, transform using camera controls to give your audio visualizer a 3D effect. Of course, you can layer up your audio visualizers with ease. And then when you've got the desired effect, you can then render the audio visualizer in the timeline and export accordingly. Of course, there are more on-screen controls that you can play around with as well. Remember that there is a link in the description for you to download and get started with this plugin in today. I just wanted to show you the basics of how to use this plugin so you can get started creating a simple audio visualizer right away. Now I'm going to export this video with just a few little tweaks and changes to show you what this audio visualizer effect looks like when you export a video. I'm going to give you a sample and just add just a few little elements to this example. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget that you can comment down below and get in touch with me to ask me any questions about any of the content that I upload here on my YouTube channel. But don't click away just yet, I've got more content that you will find interesting if you've made it this far in this video. And some of that content will be in the end screen which is coming up in 3, 2, 1.